here's my Daphnia Moena. Um, it's um, Tuesday morning, December 27th. And just wanted to give you an idea of what they look like. Swimming around. This is in my 5 gallon tank, which they seem to do, it seems to do better in my 5 gallon tank than they do in my uh, 20 gallon tank for some reason. But I got quite a few in there. And then there's a big bunch over here. There's a, there's a leaf or something in there in the middle of them. Which I apologize for, but see how they, they, tend, they tend to gather in... Um, and swarm around but there's thousands of them in there and uh, the fish love them they go crazy over them so what I do is I feed them a mixture of um, active yeast and spirulina powder which is like algae powder and I feed them once or twice a day depending on how it is and it's a, I use a baby spoon and fill it up about you know just about level a little bit over level with a baby spoon and I, I combine that uh, in, in a oh the cup is about the, the size of a cup and um, mix up uh, just a little bit of yeast maybe uh, half of a spoon to a third of a spoonful of yeast active yeast and then um, put that a portion of it in proportionally into the five gallon tank and into this 20 gallon tank which is over here and I'll see if I can get a decent view of them Here's the there's the depth in the window. See, there's not nearly as many of them, but they're spread out though too in the 20 gallon tank. Um, but that's that's the 20 gallon tank. And uh, we'll back to here. From there really there's really quite a few it's amazing somehow sometimes they you know, they go down in population sometimes they go up I you know, try to obviously keep them up because the, the fish actually love them they're like candy to them they love having the live food and uh, let me back up here a little bit get a little better view Trying to get in focus as best I can here. Kind of hard. This, is, this lens has a really, sh it's a macro lens. It's a very short focal length. But um, if we can get get a good idea of what they look like. But there, what I do is I take a, I have a special brine fish net or brine, 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 yeah, brine shrimp net it's a, it's a really fine net to catch them and then I feed them to the fish and then they just go like I said absolutely nuts over them it's like a shark feeding frenzy when I feed them to them the, the fish and um, it's, it, they're just really cool animals I think they're, they're called water fleas is the common name but there's Daphnia moena which is the size I have, which I found after raising Daphnia moena and Daphnia magna that the Daphnia moena are much more hardy. I actually got these by mistake from one of the guys I bought them on eBay and uh, I found out that they're much more hardy in terms of their ability to deal with a range of situations in terms of food and so on, mainly in food, in terms of how much I feed them because sometimes I overfeed them, sometimes I underfeed them. I try to get the right, exactly the right amount. I usually feed them early in the morning and then mid-afternoon if I'm, if they, if they seem to have eat, eaten all the food and are a high population like we are now. Uh, 
But anyways, I don't think there's anything else to tell you about them. They're really, they're really neat little creatures. And I wish I could tell you more about them. I, I'm not actually, I don't have a PhD in them or anything. That my degree is in mechanical engineering, so it's a little bit farther away from this uh, <laughs> keeping track of biology. It isn't in biology or anything like that. Although I wanted to become an, uh, a uh, go into that field. That's why I have uh, such an interest in this. I think you know going to the zoology field. So this is my little zoology experiment, so to speak. But they said, no, you know, you got to be an engineer. So I ended up getting an engineering degree instead. But anyway, that's cool. So, anyways, um, God bless and have a good one. Bye bye.